hello guys welcome to sure great success this video is on bubble sort which is similar to selection sort but in this in a single pass more than one value can be exchanged at the end of each pass we end up with the largest value while in the selection sort we are ending up with the smallest value when once the array is sorted we can stop that means we don't move to the n minus 1 passes we can stop it in between if there are no swaps that means if the array is already sorted so there is nothing typical in the algorithm so simply understand if the right one is the smaller one we have to swap and if the right one is the greater one we have to skip similarly we have to move on till the array got sorted there will be maximum n minus 1 passes in the worst case and minimum n minus 1 swaps in one pass so let's understand it with the help of an example as you can see this in this example there are eight values let's name them as i have as i have told you that what I have to do is we have to swap if the value is greater in the left side that means if the right value is smaller then we have to swap we, you can see here 75 is greater and 25 is smaller that means the right value is smaller that means we have to swap it with 75 similarly you can see that right value is smaller that is 15 is smaller so we again have to replace it now you can see that 90 is greater that means right value is greater so no need to swap skip similarly you can see that 35 is smaller than 90 so we have to swap this value now again 7 is smaller than 90 so we have to swap 7 with 90 similarly 17 is smaller so we have to swap it again Similarly, 11 is also smaller, so we have to swap it again. Now write down the resultant array after one pass. So here it is 25, 15, 75, 35, 7, 17, 11 and 90. You can see it's end up with the largest value I have as I have told you here that at the end of each pass it will end up with the largest value so 90 is here it is at its best position similarly let's move on to the pass 2 in pass 2 we have to apply the same thing in the resultant of pass 1 you can see 25 is greater and 15 is smaller right is smaller we have to swap right is greater leave it right is smaller swap it right is smaller swap it again now also right is smaller swap it and now also right is smaller so we have to swap it at the end of second pass the array will be 15 25 35 7 17 11 75 and 90 as 90 will be the already largest so in this pass also we end up with the largest value because these two are already sorted similarly we have to apply pass third on the resultant of pass 2 15 is smaller 25 is greater escape 35 is greater escape 7 right is smaller swap right is smaller again swap right is smaller again swap the value at the end of third pass the array will be 15 25 7 17 11 35 75 and 90 are already sorted and it end up with the one more largest value that is 35 similarly we have to apply pass fourth on the resultant of pass 3 15th is 
smaller than 25 skip 7 is smaller than 25 that is the right is smaller replace 17 is smaller than 25 again swap it 11 is smaller than 25 again swap it with 11 so now what will be the resultant 15 7 17 11 25 35 already sorted 75 already sorted 90 already sorted in the fourth pass we end up with the fourth largest value similarly for the pass fifth 70 smaller swap greater escape 11 smaller swap so what will be the resultant 7 15 11 17 25 35 75 and 90 as these four values are already sorted we end up with the fifth largest value that is 17 so similarly apply the all passes here so in the sixth pass 7 is smaller 15 is greater escape 15 is greater and 11 is smaller so what we have to do we have to swap because right one is smaller so in this also we end up with the sixth largest value that is 15 and rest will be the same at the end of sixth pass in the seventh pass you can see that 7 is smaller and 11 is greater that means there is no need to swap just place them as it is So we end up with the seventh largest value as you can see that there is there is no swapping and what I have told you that when once the array is sorted we can stop that means there is no swap that is array is sorted. So in this way you can find out the sorted sequence using the bubble sort so now let's check the time complexities in the bubble sort so let's firstly find out the total comparisons for total comparison how many comparisons are there in the first pass there are seven comparisons because you have to check with all of them except the last one so there will be seven comparison we can write it as n minus one and is what eight eight minus one that is seven similarly here there are six five four three two one so you can also write it as n minus one n minus two n minus three up to one so we can write it as n minus one plus n minus two plus n minus 3 plus up to plus 2 and 1 we can also write it as 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 1 so what will be the time complexity for the comparison for comparison the time complexity will be nothing but other than totally equal to n square now find out for the swaps also How many swaps are there same we have swapped with each and every value so swaps will be 7 here 6 here 3 here 7 6 5 4 3 2 and similar swaps are here also so the swap complexity will be also nothing but order of n square for the worst case and averages and it will be big of 1 for the best case that is if the already if the given array is already sorted so you can find out the total time complexity so the time complexity will be nothing but comparison plus swap 
comparison is what n square swap is also what n square and what we have to take we have to take whichever is greater so which is the greater value here the greater value here is nothing but order of n square for every case so while performing the bubble sort at any pass number of cells will be zero then we have to stop the algorithm because array will be already sorted with this condition bubble sort best case will become order of one as you can see that the here the time complexity is order of n square but at, at the condition when the array will be already sorted in this condition the bubble sort best case will become order of n thanks for watching Please like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends and help them also. Thanks.